You know, I think when you're looking to be a head coach, um, you're always kind of looking at ways to inspire people. You know, mayhem comes from that. I mean, it comes from looking to inspire people to, to really do incredible things. Mayhem is excitement. The way we get the crowd going, the way we get each other going, the energy we bring to the court is just a, it's phenomenal. I think the best way to describe mayhem is let each become all that he is able. Mayhem is like breaking down your opponents. Mayhem is a culture. It's attacking every single day with that mentality to get better and beat the person across from you. Our training methods are unorthodox. It's mostly built to test our guys' will, um, to make sure that they always come together. Our practices are tough. Um, well, it's always very, very grueling. Practices are rough. But it's, it's fun practices, though, because like we're competing against each other and make each other better. Doing a lot of running, a lot of carrying each other, a lot of pushing tires, push-ups. Like, it was like four people teams had to carry each other. And I think my first person carrying was Greg uh, Greaves. And I was like, I don't know if I can do this. Like, Greg is like 2.40. So I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know if I can make this on a three mile trail. So I was like, ah, this is rough. But I mean, we made it through and then my team ended up winning, so. Um, I kind of prefer conditioning that way because it's competitive and it kind of instills a competitive spirit in the entire team. So it's better than just going out and running sprints. Well, I think the first thing is what you're looking for when, when you reach mayhem is you're looking for the opposing, opposing team's uh, mannerisms. Their body language speaks volumes. And you can see it in their faces. And we know that they're going to break down because all the training we went through, the marine type training, I know people are not doing it just like us. We look around for around about the eight minute mark of the second half. You know, we start looking around, looking at the other guys. You'll see that their hands are on their knees and we're still standing up. And we like to play in a lot of waves. Uh, have guys coming off the bench ready to go, and so we can hit them, you know, we hit them with a punch, and we go on a run, and they call a timeout, and we have new guys come in, we just continue that run and keep the pressure on, um, and really just make our opponents break. Coach Christian doesn't coach us from a perspective that making mistakes is bad. He understands basketball is a game of mistakes, and so he always encourages us to move on to the next play right away. It's very, it's very important because I'm able to, you know, get back on defense and, and worry about the next play instead of worrying about, oh, coach is going to yell at me because I just missed a shot or I took a three. So it's very important that he allows me to just play my game. As opposed to maybe some other systems where if there's less possessions or the coach is stressing like perfection on every single play, Coach Christian knows that, like, you know, as long as you're striving to be, you know, striving to do your very best, mistakes are going to happen. It's all about how you respond to those mistakes. I mean, I like the freedom because the way I play, like, I can attack or I can set other teammates up. So the freedom is something that's really well needed in our mayhem offense. My game, it really needs freedom. I take some crazy shots and I have a, we have a crazy offense. So I think it really helps our style of play and help us like, uh, be aggressive in our play and just let us be loose and have fun playing basketball. You know, they take it as freedom. I take it as my love for them as a coach. You either coach how you want to be coached or how you were coached. And I'm trying to coach them how I want it to be coached. I want to come into a great environment every single day and just really encourage them to play with one another and play with a ton of enthusiasm. We try to keep it pretty simple. Early on, I didn't understand coaches' tactics to these crazy schemes and ideas, but now I understand it because I see like the positive effect it has on us. I've seen us go to the mountaintop, win the championship, doing these things. Whatever he makes us do, I know it's good for us in the long run. My favorite part of Mayhem is that we're never out of the game. Uh, I think when you look at a group of people who really like love each other and every day they're in here working together to try to achieve something that hasn't been done, I mean, the reality of it is, is, is mayhem and pressing and trapping is a tough style of play to play. And not a lot of people, you know, can do that. And I think we take pride in separating ourselves from, from ordinary people by doing extraordinary things very well often. I think the best is yet to come from out basketball.